Hi everyone, today we are going to check out some very young and small orchids, and talk about the caring tips. First of all, let's see these dendrobium seedlings we deflasked one month ago. We can see that some the sphagnum moss in each pot is not in the same condition. Some are wet and some are drier. According to the quantities of sphagnum moss and the water requirements of orchids, the water consuming rates are different in each pot. This is the only one that we lost it after this deflasking. Taking care of small orchids is not much different from orchids in normal size. Giving it what it needs is our first principle. Small orchids consume less water than orchids in normal size, we pot them in small pots with less potting media. However, less potting media means retaining less moisture. The potting media become dry faster. So the watering interval could be shorter than normal size orchids. This is a photo of another small seedling when I bought it. I repotted it in a 3 inch plastic pot, a slightly bigger than older pot. Now it had been potted in another bigger pot, and it has 3 big pseudo bulbs. While small and young orchid are in the process of developing their pseudo bulbs or leaves, which store water and nutrients. They don't have enough reserved water to cope with too dry for too long, so the shorter watering interval makes some grower feel like they need water very often. However, the small and young orchids are weaker to resist pathogens, if we give it too much water, they will easily get fungal or bacterial infections to rot and die. Let us take a look at this very small phalaenopsis I mounted it on the tree fern slab. Now it is in the mature size, and ready for blooming. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.